Well, hello there, and good evening, everyone. I'm uh, William Brantley from uh, North Jackson, Tennessee, on uh, Walker Road, uh, ready to share with you yesterday's and today's climate summary and give you a forecast for the next few days momentarily. I'm going to go ahead and start uh, with the stats like I always do and uh, take it from there. There probably won't be a weather... Uh, uh, I, I don't know. I might try to insert one here in a few moments. It's getting close to the top of the hour. I might try to insert a local on the 8s for the Weather Channel. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> uh, be here in about three or four minutes roughly. Uh, they'll have to change their programming, but that's beside the point. Uh, okay, let me get on to yesterday's climate uh, summary for you. Yesterday here in North Jackson, we had a low of 27 degrees, a high of 47 degrees. Uh, no precipitation, of course, yesterday. Uh, had a uh, highest wind gust of uh, 16 miles per hour out of the west at uh, 12.55 p.m. Yesterday's uh, warmest high in West Tennessee was 47 degrees right here in North Jackson on Walker Road and at Memphis, Tennessee Airport and at the National Weather Service Forecast Office. The coldest low yesterday morning was uh, 27 degrees uh, here in North Jackson. The West Tennessee's coldest low was 23 degrees and that happened at uh, Covington, Bolivar and at Savannah, Tennessee. Now uh, today's climate summary as of 5 uh, p.m., the skies were getting cloudy at the time, mostly cloudy skies at 5 p.m., with a temperature of 47 degrees. The dew point was 28 degrees. The uh, humidity was 48%. The wind was out of the south at 6 miles per hour, and the barometric pressure was 30.16 inches of mercury. Today's low temperature was 30 degrees here in North Jackson. The high was 56 degrees and had no precipitation, of course, since midnight. The lowest humidity today was 38% and that occurred at uh, 2 p.m. The highest would be 79% and that occurred at 2 a.m. Uh, the lowest barometric pressure would be 30.16 inches of mercury, and that happened at 2 through 5 p.m., while the uh, highest pressure was 30.25 inches of mercury, and that occurred at 10 a.m. Today's highest wind gust was 25 miles per hour out of the southwest at 11.54 a.m. Now, uh, while we had that low this morning of 30 degrees, the coldest wind chill this morning was 25 degrees. And that occurred at 2 through 4, and then again at 7 a.m. this morning. Now, today's records for December the 16th, the hottest high would be 74 degrees. And that happened in 1984. The coldest time would be 22 degrees, and that occurred in 1989, fairly recent. Uh, warmest low would be 59 degrees, and that occurred in 1984, while the coldest low would be 4 degrees in 1989. So that's two distinctive years with some extreme temperatures there. 1984 with a low of uh, one low of 59 and a uh, high high, <laughs> if I can call it that, of 74, and then the cold low and high of 31 degrees, and, no, I'm sorry, of 4 degrees, I'm sorry, coldest low of 4 degrees in 1989, and a high of 22 in 1989. Look at that, the extremes there occurred within five years of each other. I just noticed that, my goodness. Amazing weather sometimes here in Jackson, Tennessee. Uh, rainfall record, 2.23 inches, and that occurred in 1996. 
And guess what? No snow. <laughs> no snowfall record for December the 16th here in Jackson, Tennessee. But I do want to remind you that I did make a slight error. I won't call it an error instead of boo-boo. <laughs> boo-boo is more of a teasing term uh, of the uh, record snowfall for Jackson. Yesterday I mentioned that one for Christmas Day in particular. Uh, there's two different uh, lo uh, amounts I'm going to tell you. One of them's from the Jackson Airport. And uh, on Christmas Day, according to their records that they have on the internet, they're showing 0 0.1 in 2009 measurable snow on the ground. And as you well know, that's maybe an eighth of an inch, maybe, which is very light amount. That's the airports, uh, uh, what they have down. My personal observation for Christmas Day record is a trace, which is less than 0 0.1. And that occurred in 2012, a different year. Okay. Now, the, I did look up the 2009 data, data on my records, uh, uh, and I showed a trace of rain, uh, trace of snow weather, during the early morning hours uh, in 2009 uh, for Christmas Day, and I indicated, like I said, a trace, and I had it indicated on my notes that it snowed flurries are probably between uh, or doing the 12 a.m. through 3 a.m. hours and then again through the 7 and 8 a.m. hours on Christmas Day of 2009. I uh, the other one <clears throat> 2012 I probably should have brought that up instead of the year I brought up. You know I forgot to do that. Ah uh, I ain't, I'm not going to worry about it right now. I thought I'd at least share that with you. So, uh, oh, and that uh, two inches that I mentioned uh, for the highest, that actually occurred uh, on December 24th, Christmas Eve day of uh, 1962, I believe was the year that that happened. It was on Christmas Eve day, not Christmas day when we had two inches of snow back in 1962 according to the airport's observation uh, at that time I was uh, five years old <laughs> in 1962 I but uh, and I don't remember how much snow we had that far back other than what's on the record of course the biggest one I ever do remember being uh, like 10, 11 years old was that big, big, big one back in 1968 that was in March, 21st, 22nd, first day of spring, matter of fact. <laughs> we had uh, 19 inches in Bemis. That's right, 19 inches was recorded in Bemis on 3rd Street from my cousins that measured it and told me about it. And also uh, interesting snowfall mounts there. But for Christmas Day, apparently, we haven't gotten more than a tenth of an inch. Zero point, uh, not even a tenth of an inch. Zero point one on Christmas Day of 2009. <clears throat> and apparently it fell, like I said, during the midnight through 3 a.m. and then 7 and 8 a.m. hours uh, that day. And, uh, and but according to my records that I've on my uh, uh, computer list, uh, a trace in 2012. All right, and a trace in 2009 too. <laughs> At least in Bemis, I put it that way. Uh, but the airport did have 0 0.1. Okay, that's enough on that. I just thought I'd uh, kind of uh, upgrade my uh, facts on the snow there. And I said all that to say that, that there is a... 40% chance of some uh, snow flurries Christmas morning for a few day for a few hours if the forecast don't change. Earlier today, around lunchtime, the snow was out. 
with fair skies all day Christmas Day. The update around 4.30, put it back in there. <laughs> so it's going to be going back and forth, back and forth for the next few days. We're going to have to actually wait within five days probably to get more of an accurate idea as to whether it's going to snow this year on Christmas Day or not, probably. But at least it doesn't hurt to wonder and wish. And, and and get curious about it, I don't guess. All right, all right, all right. I'm sorry to put so much emphasis on that. Uh, let me go on to the regular information that I normally uh, provide you. Let me see if I can update something here. Uh, I think it's that one. Uh, I think it was. Yeah, it updated it. Okay. All right, let me proceed with the other information. I gave you the snowfall record, which is none for today. All right, let me show you the graphs, and then I'll be closer to being through. And I hope that wasn't too long and too boring for you, by the way. Uh, let me turn the camera around and let you see. If there was an eight, I missed it. I was thinking too hard about the snow. I missed it. It's totally something different now, and I'm not going to worry about it. All right, here's the uh, satellite picture. No, I'm sorry, radar. Thanks to AccuWeather, of course. And yes, you do see some rain moving in our direction. No, it's not expected to snow tonight or tomorrow. <laughs> Just rain. And there you see the rain where it's at now. It's uh, approaching Memphis, but it's still a little ways off probably be here around three or four tomorrow morning and it's expected to be light not nothing heavy all right let's look at the southeast regional it is a little heavy down there in texas though that's moving in our direction but it may that may actually go to the west of us through Arkansas and Missouri rather than uh, Tennessee is what I'm thinking but if it doesn't it looks like it's almost headed straight for us we may have some pretty heavy rain between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. roughly that's the time and expected right now a little bit of heavy rain but then also the heavy rain down there in Texas will probably sort of uh, start dissipating once it gets closer to us because our air still is mighty dry and a lot of it probably will end up uh, dying down by the time it gets closer to us. That's the thinking right now at least. Alright. Uh, here's the national view. Then you see uh, Rain southwest of us. It's clear around us otherwise. Forgot to mention, Tennessee right now is still rain free. As you can see, the rain's down in Texas, Oklahoma, and parts of Arkansas. It looks like it's moving almost due north, don't it? If it does that, it's going to go around us if it goes due continues due north. There's snow up in the uh, northern plain states out there in the Rockies, northwest Rockies. Still, a little bit of rain mixed with some possible snow. Well, no, it looks like there's rain. Yeah, it might be mixed with a little bit of snow up there in Washington State along the coast. And some lingering snow, very light patches in Michigan. They've been having some pretty good snowfall amounts up there. I've been waiting up to six inches in spots of uh, Michigan up there in the Great Lakes area. And some spotty over there up there in the northeast, rain off the coast. And I think that's it. Uh, there may be a few little light showers down in Texas. Not Texas, but Florida. That may be false echoes though. All right, let me move on to the uh, to the uh, satellite. And it shows, of course, 
clouds moving through West Tennessee as you can see from this shot fairly cloudy in West Tennessee now it's going to stay that way there's actually a few little tiny breaks in those clouds so don't be too surprised you might actually see them uh, a few clear spots every now and then it won't last long be almost very be cloudy but it does look like the clouds are rolling on in pretty good East Tennessee is still sort of fair but even they're getting cloudy over there too all right uh, regional map yeah, that's some pretty I mean, pretty heavy clouds there try west that down there in Texas though looks almost like that's moving north northeast there's a small chance it may go around to our north but it may get up there around near Missouri and go start going due east <laughs> that happens then we're in for it it should remain cloudy all day tomorrow and regardless that's probably why it should clear up to nearly midnight tomorrow night and I think it's gonna go back to cloudy on Tuesday if I can remember the forecast right which I'll get to that in a little bit all right there you see the satellite for the southeast U.S. view. Here is the U.S. view of the whole U.S. You see where it's raining and uh, not well. You got that too, probably. Where it's clear and where it isn't. Where it's cloudy and you name it. Different parts of uh, the country. It's taking a tour of the U.S. here. Take your pick as to your favorite spot. Boy, Cuba's nice down there. <laughs> Good weather down there in Cuba. Not too bad in Florida. And most of the southeast. And of course that heavy thick clouds there in Texas and Oklahoa and most of Arkansas and a good part of Tennessee now. Alrighty. I guess uh, let's move on to I'll bring that down my YouTube might surprise me at what it takes a photo of I'll make sure to see it good uh, let's look at the surface map now thanks to uh, weather underground of course and there you see the various uh, map features that's a pretty good view, even though it's at a distance. See the fronts to our north, the lows to our north, snow to our north north, <laughs> northwest, way northwest, rain to our west and southwest. Now it looks like it's pretty heavy there over eastern Texas. And that may be Puerto Rico way down there. East of Haiti, it looks like it's raining down there. A country just east of Haiti. Otherwise, not too bad. Let me take a zoom in real quick and get a better look at uh, the weather around here. There you see that blob of rain, <laughs> I gotta call it, over in Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. Oh, it's getting close to Memphis, though. Like I said, it should be here in Jackson. It probably hit Memphis or near the river around midnight and move into Jackson, near Jackson or in Jackson, around 3 a.m. But it should be gone by about 10 a.m. At least that's the expected time as of right now. There's a closer up view of, uh, of the rain. I'll get, that. I'll get it like that and give you a good view just in case and that is moving uh, east I wish I had a way to put an arrow on there but I don't know what tool to use to do that but that gives you a uh, pretty good idea of what's coming toward us uh, later on tonight all right 
Um, should I go one more? Why not? Go one more. There's West Tennessee. Looks like the rain is from roughly Fort Smith, Arkansas, down to about Little Rock, down to probably around Forest City. Well, no, it's not quite that far yet, because Forest City is just a little southwest of Memphis. That gives you another little look at the precipitation. Alright, then we move on to what I call the detailed forecast. And I'll go ahead and read it to you. And I know you probably before looking at it, but I got it spread out enough to where I think it's easier for me just to go ahead and read it to you. I don't think you mind me doing that. Uh, it's going to be, of course, well, mostly cloudy now for the rest of tonight, for the most part. Mostly cloudy tomorrow. We might actually see a little sunshine tomorrow afternoon uh, around 1 p.m. to sunset up to around 5 o'clock and then go back to mostly cloudy. That may actually happen. That's a 60% chance for rain uh, starting around 3 a.m. here in Jackson but ending around 9 a.m. Then remaining mostly cloudy till about 1 p.m. Then becoming fair till about sunset and then becoming mostly cloudy again. That's the way tomorrow's forecast is looking uh, right now. Alright, the low tomorrow morning should be about 39 degrees. The high tomorrow should be about 54 degrees. So it'll be warmer tomorrow morning than today and uh, high will be uh, the hair cooler. <laughs> if I say hair, 54 for a high tomorrow is 56 today. It'll give you an idea of the slight difference there. The winds will be out of the south at 10 to 20 miles per hour. The sun will be rising tomorrow morning at 6.59 a.m. Set tomorrow afternoon at 4.44 p.m. Hey, we're slowly getting that sunlight at the end of, end of the day back until we finally get daylight savings time back in March. The moon will be rising tomorrow morning at 6.13 a.m. and be setting tomorrow afternoon at 4.39 p.m. Monday, mostly cloudy skies now, with the low near 43 and a high of 61. It's still expected to be nice and decent sun, uh, Monday, where even we get sunshine or not. I hope that changes too. Well, with a high near 61, with southwest winds at 10 to 20, the new moon is complete on uh, Monday, the 18th. And it rises Monday at 7.05 a.m. and sets at 5.24 p.m. Uh, Tuesday, mostly cloudy with a 60% chance for some showers with low near 47 and a high of 59 with west winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Wednesday, mostly cloudy with a 60% chance of showers till noon then becoming mostly clear. With a low near 47, a high of 54, with northeast winds at 10 to 20. Thursday, fair skies, low near 35, uh, high near 62, with uh, south winds at 10 to 20. On Friday, it's going to be mostly cloudy, with a 60% chance of more rain coming. With a low near 45, and a high of 52. And north winds at 10 to 20. Next Saturday, the 23rd, mostly cloudy at this time with a 40% chance for some showers. That's not a huge chance, so it'll be kind of scattered and about probably next Saturday. With a low near 30 and a high of 46 with north winds at 10 to 20. Next Sunday, uh, Christmas Eve day, mostly cloudy with a 40% chance of showers, with a low near 31 and a high of 42, with north winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. I'll leave that one open. <laughs> uh, I'll let you guess at that one. And on Christmas Day, as of right now, as of noon, it was going to be fair. As of 4.30, <laughs> 
I hate that. I, 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 I might as well tease about it because that's about what it amounts to. The computer models cannot agree. Not on this one. Uh, yet. Uh, they will when it gets close to July, like within the first three days. And sometimes even then they don't want to agree, depending upon the storm and how intense it is. Anyways, as of right now, mostly cloudy skies on Christmas Day with a 30% chance of precipitation. The chance is very low, but that doesn't mean it won't do it. But the 30% chance of precipitation and an early morning wintry mix is possible during the early morning hours Christmas Day. Will it happen like it did in 2009? Who knows? <laughs> have to wait and see. But regardless of whether it precipitates or not, the skies should become fair toward noon on Christmas Day and be sunny for the rest of the day uh, on Christmas Day. So at least the afternoon looks sunny or at least partly cloudy during the afternoon on Christmas Day. The morning's up for grabs <laughs> at the moment. All right, the low temperature should be down around 27 degrees, and the high should get on up to about 40. And we'll have north winds at 10 to 20. And in case you'd like to have it this far out, the sun rises on Christmas Day morning, the 25th, at uh, 7.03 a.m. It'll be sitting at 4.48 p.m. The moon will be rising at 10.43 a.m. and be sitting at 11.45 p.m. Alrighty, that should take care of it for tonight, my, for my friends. Hope all of you have a very pleasant and uh, joyful Saturday night. And hope you have a beautiful Sunday, uh, December the 17th, 2017, tomorrow. And uh, one more time, a 60% chance for rain beginning around 2 a.m. here in Jackson, 2 or 3 a.m., ending around 9 o'clock, possibly 10 o'clock, uh, ending before noon anyways, and then becoming fair roughly around 1 p.m. and then until sunset, and then becoming mostly cloudy, cloudy again, lower 39 and high 54. Okay, well, I guess that's it for tonight, folks. Thank you, as always, for checking in and listening, and I hope it helped you a little bit. And, of course, I hope to get a chance to talk to you again tomorrow night. And until then, may God bless you. Good night, my friends, and thank you.